Hey, I wanted to give you an update on Pollux. Y'all, so much has changed since I introduced you to him a couple weeks ago. He is almost like a different dog. So let me tell you what's been going on in our house. And I think... So first, I wanted to answer a question. After I posted the video about adopting Pollux, a lot of people asked me about his name. The shelter actually named him. And when we first heard his name, I thought it was weird, like I didn't know what it meant. And we asked the lady the very first day at the shelter if he knew his name. And she's like, well, I mean, maybe, I don't really know. Um, and so we were gonna change his name. But once we got Pollux home, we realized he does know his name. He will come when you call him. If you say his name, he'll turn and he'll look at you. And we Googled the word Pollux and it is so sweet. It actually means a bright orange star near the sun, which is one of the brightest stars in the night sky. That is so fitting for him. He is an orange and white dog. He has the brightest and the sweetest personality. This dog is always smiling. I mean, he is the happiest, happiest dog. And so when we realized he did know his name and now we knew, we knew what his name meant, no way we were changing it. So Pollux it is. Once we got Pollux home, a couple things went down. Pollux is not house trained. Y'all, he lived in a shelter for his entire life. He peed in his cage. He is not house trained. And I knew that going into this. The first week that Pollux was at our house, he absolutely would not pee on a leash, period. He was so like freaked out my bee being close to him, he would not pee. We would take him on walks. We would, y'all saw we took him to the park. He never peed. He doesn't lift his leg to pee. He doesn't sniff to pee. He only pees a couple times a day and that is only when he needs to pee. So we took him to PetSmart and we tried on all different kinds of harnesses. Whew, it was a big deal and I wish I had recorded this, but we had to have somebody help us because we wanted to make sure that they fit him. He's a skinny dog, but he's a long dog. And so a lot of harnesses would cut him under the arms. So anyway, he was such a good boy. He stood there while we put these harnesses on and off and over his head and on his back. And he was so sweet about it. But we got him a new harness. And then we got him one of these retractable leashes on this like thick rope. This was the ticket. Once he can actually get a little bit of distance away from me, he'll go pee. So now every time I take him out, he pees all is well. But he has yet to poop on a leash. It's not happening. He's just not comfortable yet. And so we have a pool with a fence around it. And so... He will go out back, he'll run around, he'll do his business, which is fine. Randy takes care of it, we wash off the deck, it's fine. So I don't have that problem solved right now. We do have the pen solved. He will, he will do it on a leash with me now. He doesn't lift his leg to pee. He squats his bottom down and he pees. Well, what happens is he pees all over his front feet. Every single time he pees, he pees on his front feet. I I don't know how to handle that. I don't know if there's even a way to teach Pollux to lift his leg. But this is our struggle. We got pee pee leg every time he goes. But hey, at least he's going on the leash. We took Pollux to the park again. He loves the park. He has had a fantastic time. He, he does not know how to walk on a leash. He's just constantly zigzagging back and forth, wrapping all around us, pulling somebody down. There's a lot to learn on the leash, but that will come in time. But he loves the park. He loves being just free and he can smell everything and investigate. And he just has a big time at the park. And he peed at the park, which was a really big deal. We were all like, yay, Pollux, peed at the park. <sighs> Just got back in the car. We've had Pollux. This is day 10. 
and he has never peed on a walk. He won't pee at the park. He won't pee on a walk up the street. And today he peed. We've been here like no. an hour <laughs> walking. Maxie has peed on everything. Pollux on the last stretch peed. So we all praised him. He's been such a good boy. Look, hi Pollux. You peed on the walk, Pollux, huh? <laughs> We're all worn out. We're going home. All right, y'all, Pollux's new collar just got here. I got one for Maxie, too, of course. I get him a new one every year, but this is Pollux's first collar. I'm so excited to see it. But look, oh my gosh, let me get this out. Look, we got him this beautiful teal color. I thought that would look so pretty on him. Oh my God, and it is, y'all, I love this company. They make the best dog collars. I've talked about them in another video. They're called the Flying Dog. They have the best collars. Look at that, beautiful. I cannot wait to put this on him. And then the one we got for Maxi, we got the Maxer, a black and blue striped collar. Maxi, look how cute. I'm gonna get these on the guys. These are gonna look so nice. Let me get it on the guys. Maxer Moo, Maxi, come here, let's see you, come here. Let me look how handsome. Look how handsome Maxie is with his collar. Okay, Moo, let's see, it's so nice. Oh my gosh, I love it, Maxie. So handsome. Oh, it's so handsome. I see, look at his collar. Okay, Felix, it's your turn. You want your collar? Felix got his new collar, look how beautiful. Got his name on it and his mom's phone number. That's right, buddy. You got your new collar. So yesterday, the new dog collars came in the morning. I got home from what I was doing and took the dogs on a walk. And when we got home from the walk, the delivery company had left a package on our front porch and it was Pollux's new calming bed. We got him a donut anxiety bed, just like Maxie. Here he is, opening the box, checking out his bed for the first time. He is in doggy heaven, y'all. He loves this bed. What is it? Yeah, bud. Polly, that's your new bed, buddy. Scary. What is it, bud? Oh. What is it, Pollux? Just cut a little hole in it and let it. What is it, buddy? <laughs> Maxie wants to know too. Oh, it's getting bigger. What is it, Pollux? <gasps> Look at that, buddy. Loves it, Matt. Hey, 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 hey. No. Maybe that's how no. he just figures it out. <laughs> what is it, Polly? He's, just, he's like in deep smell. Hey. Hey. 
Do you like it? Is it comfy? I guess it is. I mean, yeah, he just laid right in it. Yeah. Hey, Maxer, he got bad like you. He's corn cob. He got, he got bad like the Maxer. Uh, you want oh, your belly oh, rub? He's yeah. locking it. You want your belly rub? Aww. Look at him. He wants to eat it. Hey. Hey, that's my hand, dude. Oh, Pollux loves his bed. It's gonna I, be I, 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 though. I, I, oh my god! <laughs> Look at that tongue hanging out. <laughs> tongue hanging out. <laughs> So in the last video, you all saw Pollux laying behind me, falling asleep with his head up. And I said that he was having a really hard time sleeping. Well, hi, Maxie. Pollux, come here. What are you doing? Y'all see his collar? We got him this kind of teal green. <laughs> I thought that this this color would be just beautiful on him and we got it yesterday and he is so handsome in his new collar. So he now has a family and he has a collar, it has his name on it. Hey Maxie Moo, you get a new collar too? Collar, come here. Beep beep. Can you show him your collar? Maxer got a new collar. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody got new collars. Everybody is trying to get in my lap. What's going on here? What's going on here, Paula? Tell me what's going on. What are you doing? But anyway, what I was saying, buddy. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Can you come down? Oh, my goodness. Okay, sit down. Sit down. So what I was saying about his sleeping. Turns out he was so exhausted and wasn't sleeping at night. That's why he was falling asleep with his head up. He was so concerned about keeping an eye on everybody and knowing where we were, and he was just unsure of his surroundings that he was not sleeping well at night, or he wasn't sleeping at all. And so last night was the first night that he slept on his bed. We have it in our bedroom. He got all nestled in, and he slept like a baby. He loves his bed. He is staying in his bed all night long. He wakes up super skippy and ready to play. So my bedroom has now been overtaken by dog beds, dog blankets, and dog hair. But I am happy as a clam. I love it. Oh, yes, let me tell you what Mr. Pollux did. So he's decided that one of his favorite places to hang out is under my dining room table. He can see a full view of the front door, the bedrooms, the kitchen. It's like the best place for him to keep an eye on what everybody's doing. The other day, I just heard a noise and he has all these toys in the dining room so I thought he was chewing a toy and I would go in there and I'd look at him and he's not doing anything he's just laying there so I'd go away then I'd hear the noise again and I would go back and there's Pollux just laying there not doing anything well I discovered what he's been chewing on he is chewing the corner of my dining room chair he has chewed the fire out of the corner of my dining room chair. And then today, he decided to start chewing on one of my rugs. So, Pollux and I are just going to have a little chat. Oh my gosh, y'all. The plan that is going on in our house is out of control. Maxie and Pollux are best buddies. They oh, are like this and it is so funny but they are wearing me out they are playing so hard that i had to go break it up the other day i thought maxi was gonna have a stroke like he was panting he was covered in spit from pollux he was just maxi is almost nine years old like he hadn't played like that in a very long time and it is so funny to watch because both of them will instigate the playing Pollux will get down low and he'll put his booty in the air and he'll start wagging his tail and he'll do this low like growling at Maxie like calling him to come play and then it is on like everybody watch out they will run around the living room today they were running from kitchen to the dining room 
they are having a ball. So we have about two big play sessions a day and they eventually wear, wear each other out and then t just crash and take big naps. I wish you all could see Pollux right now. He is laying in front of me. We went at PetSmart, got him one of the femur bones that is stuffed with peanut butter and he's laying in front of me watching me talk about him licking the peanut butter out of his bone. Oh, y'all, one thing. I learned something about Pollux's history that I did not know. We took Pollux to our vet and he had a red eye. So we just wanted to take him to our vet and make sure everything was okay with his eye. And it is, they said it was just a little cold in his eye, no big deal, it's cleared up. But when we walked into the vet, of course he's never been there before, and I was signing him in, one of the girls working behind the counter came running around and said, Pollux, and started loving on Pollux. I'm thinking, how do you know him? Like we just walked in the door. And she told me that she used to work at the Humane Society and had recently started working for our vet. And she was there when Pollux was brought in with the litter of puppies when he was only a couple of weeks old. And she said that he was one dog out of a litter of 25 puppies. Oh my gosh. One male dog got three sister dogs pregnant all at the same time, and they all had a litter of puppies, 25 puppies. That is crazy. So that's my update on Pollux. Y'all, he is doing so, so well. I truly appreciate all of the comments that you all left on my last video about Pollux and asking about him. Everyone was so excited to meet him and wanted to know more. So I have been sending pictures to the Humane Society so to kind of keep them up to speed on what's going on with Pollux and they are so happy. They said that when they saw my video about him that they cried tears of joy at the animal shelter. Go. <laughs> he likes a booty rub! <laughs> a booty rub, Pollux! Do you? You like a booty rub? Is that the